Okay, so now we're going to move on to our last data type, which is the concept of an object. Um, objects in JavaScript are similar to like a dictionary in Python. Um, so we basically have um, multiple um, elements, and they're, um, each element has an associated uh, like value or key. So basically this is a concept like a key and value pair. Okay, so to create an object um, in JavaScript, you use square brackets, or sorry, curly brackets. So we're going to do something like let, we'll just do object one equal. And then we can specify the object in curly brackets. And now instead of just listing things, we're going to have a key and then associated value. So we're just going to do like geog and then comma and then number. This again, I'm just going to put in a class here. So we're just going to do uh, the number. We'll just do 350 again. And then uh, name. Oops, that's a keyword. So we'll do C name. And uh, we'll just do GIS science. And we'll end that there. OK, so that is basically the structure of an object. So we're creating an object called ob or obg1. And then we're putting that in curly brackets to define an object. And then all the elements here are key value pairs. right? Um, so if we execute that, that object should exist. Now, if we wanted to pull elements from it, there's a couple options. We could do it this way. So you do object one and then dot and then the key. So we could do like code. So actually let's put that in console log. So that's one way to grab an element. So with the key name there or the key, so dot the key. And then oh, another option is you can use, actually, we can just do that here. So we could use square brackets and then call right. So this bracket notation with the key or the dot notation there with the key. Okay. So this is a very simple object um, in JavaScript.